Hello, I will introduce you the new generation of SW turbine, new ECU, and the new firmware details. And uh, the firmware can use for any old version of ECU, GSU, and the turbines. Some improve in new firmware. First, we, we improve the restart uh, can dash file during restart. And uh, we improve the brush dash starter. It will spin more smooth. And uh, the new function is preheat temp and uh, preheat time. We can set it and adjustable. And uh, for the new ECU, brush this ECU can switch about traditional DC pump and the brush this pump. And uh, the old version of ECU can only support Futaba system. The new ECU can support Futaba, FR Sky, Spectrum, and the JT Telemetry. I have a another video to show you how to set up the telemetry for Spectrum and the JT. The new firmware version is ECU 2.0.48, GSU 1.1.38, and the TCU 1.0.28, or any higher version. This firmware can suitable for any old version of ECU, GSU, and uh, TCU. If you want to use this new function, you must upgrade all of this unit. You must upgrade it in same time. We development a new brush desk pump. You can see the detail. This is a sample only. And uh, we use the different size of tube. The bigger one is for in, and uh, the small one is for out. And uh, in the traditional DC pump, we use the same size. Same size. And uh, the brush this pump is only used for 120 to 210 turbine and the 60 turbine will use traditional pump and the all the connector we plug to pump and the switch switch above from GSU now we see the new function no matter you use the old ECU or new ECU when you upgrade in the menu you will see new function preheat preheat temp and preheat time the factory default setting is 120 degree and 5 second if you in a very cold area and uh, stop engine and uh, it's hard to start up or uh, many smoke, you can increase preheat time. For example, to add second. This will help to warm up the chamber when starting. Normally, we do many tests. Five seconds is enough. This is factory default, default setting. And uh, for new brush this ECU, we can switch the pump type for traditional DC pump or brushless DC pump. Only stacked and the ECU will switch above 
automatically. How to upgrade the firmware to your ECU, GSU, and uh, TCU? You need a cable like this. You can build it by yourself. And uh, you need a USB, USB pen. You can mail me to get the USB pen. And uh, we connect to GSU position. And the GSU connect to and uh, the TCU use this connector to upgrade the firmware for your motor.